What's up everyone? So today I've rounded up 10 of my favorite fashion hacks that I found on TikTok. So let's not waste any time, let's get right to it. All right, so the first one is my favorite. It works really well if you don't have a belt on hand or if you're wearing baggy, loose mom jeans. Um, but this is a great hack because all you have to do is take the button of your jeans, put it through the first belt loop and button your jeans as you would and voila, now you have a tighter waist fit. So it can look a little bit bunched in the middle. But simply cover it with a sweater or if you're wearing a dress shirt and you're doing that master tuck, that can help hide it as well. Okay, so the second one is also very useful. So if you do wear blazers often, a lot of times when you roll up your sleeves, it can constantly roll down because it's not tight enough. So this is a great hack to make it actually stay. So all you have to do is take an elastic band, put it on the cuff of the sleeve, and roll your sleeve as you would. And as you can see, it makes such a difference. Now the third hack is great, especially if you're wearing very oversized sweaters like this one, but you want a cropped look without actually cropping your sweater. So all you have to do is tuck it into your bra if you are wearing a bra that day and it'll create a cute cropped look without having to stuff it in your jeans where it can make your jeans look a little poofy. So the fourth hack is great if you wanna wear a sweater over top of a dress but you still want your sweater to be cropped. Obviously with dresses there isn't a way to tuck your sweater into something. So if you actually tie your belt over your sweater around your waist and then pull parts of your sweater over top of your belt, it'll create kind of a cute oversized cropped look without compromising your dress. I don't even know if I did this properly, but I always like tying my t-shirts because I'm obsessed with kind of the crop look. So this is a very, very quick and easy way to tie your t-shirts without kind of doing it the bunny way, which I've always done. So the sixth hack is great for sweatpants or jeans or any pair of pants that aren't cuffed that you want cuffed. Um, it's very similar to kind of the blazer hack. So all you have to do is take your elastic and put it over top your actual pant cuff and then kind of roll it up on the inside so it kind of creates that fake cuff for a more casual look. This seventh hack is great. There's a reason why I don't do retail anymore. It's because I don't know how to fold even if my life depended on it. So this is a great way to fold your sweatshirts or your sweaters in a way where your sweaters won't be wrinkled. Um, you'll save space and it'll keep all your sweaters a lot more organized. I kind of felt like I was doing origami a little bit. All right, so this eighth hack is great if you love wearing oversized dress shirts but you're getting a little bored or you want to feminize it up. There's so many ways to style dress shirts. This is just one of them. I thought it was a cute and feminine way to dress up a boring old oversized dress shirt. Okay, so this hack is catered to all you shorties out there, including myself. I always have to roll up my leggings because they're too long for my legs. So all this hack is showing is essentially rolling up your leggings and then folding it over top. So it creates more of a seamless fold. And then the very last hack is how to fold your jean cuff so that it creates a more of a tighter cuff. Especially if you want that vintage mom jean look, it just creates a more narrow cuff versus what I would normally do if I were to fold my jeans. So yeah, giving you some options. All right, so that sums it up. Um, I do plan to do a part two to this, but instead of focusing on fashion, I wanna focus more on photography, showing you 10 of the coolest photography hacks that I found on TikTok. So if you are interested in that, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which which hack was your favorite. Otherwise, follow me on TikTok at Tina Dow and on Instagram at Simply T. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe so you know when my next video is coming out. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that and I will see you guys next time and stay safe. Bye. Okay, bye. <coughs> Corona. <laughs> uh.